Thanks to Ravi Bapara, Essex completed a thrilling two-wicket victory on the last day of their LV County Championship match with Hampshire in Colchester, a day when the spinners from both sides took over and fingernails were removed in the crowd. A draw appeared to be the most likely outcome at the start of the final morning, with Hampshire on 83 for one in their second innings for a lead of 44. Michael Carberry moved from his overnight 48 to a 50 in the fifth over, with a four off Greg Smith, his seventh to go with two sixes off the 89 balls he'd faced. The first wicket of 17 to fall in two sessions came in the seventh over. Will Smith edging Jesse Ryder behind on 19, one of the few not to be out to a spinner on this day. Before they took over, James Vince pulled Smith for a six as the lead moved on to 70. Carberry also fell to Ryder for 56 and then the Kiwi bowled Vince off the bottom edge as the Hampshire man tried a forceful cut. The rest of the innings was dominated by Smith and Monty Panasar. Adam Wheater couldn't repeat his first innings heroics and edged a turning ball from Panasar to Tom Wesley after making eight this time. Liam Dawson had spent 45 minutes over his six runs when he was also out to Panasar, a thin edge being grasped by Foster. Matt Coles decided that attack was the best form of defence and he slog swept Smith into the distance. But Hampshire were effectively on 111 for seven when Sean Irvin was the sixth man to fall in the first 90 minutes of the day, Smith having him held by Tim Phillips at second slip. Phillips then took an excellent catch at leg slip two balls later to get shot of Nathan Remington for a duck. And when Smith struck again in his next over, Danny Briggs trapped in front by one that straightened from the off-spinner. Hampshire were in a mess on 164 for nine. Cole struck a second maximum off Panasar, who ended with figures of three for 53 from 11 overs, before Smith grabbed a fourth wicket in the space of just 12 balls, when the former Kent man Coles found Sajid Mahmood at long off after the bowler tempted him with some flight. Hampshire had lost nine wickets in the morning session, sliding from 109 for two to 171 all out, Smith ending with figures of four for 46. That left Essex a target of just 133 to win for a third time this summer. Briggs opened the bowling and Dawson replaced James Tomlinson after only two overs. Dawson struck with his very first ball as Wheater stumped Nick Brown. We soon had a game on our hands. In the next over, Briggs trapped Wesley in front on the sweep for 14. And the left armour did it again in his next over. Ryder taken at short leg by Smith. And when Briggs grabbed a third wicket in as many overs, Foster nicking off for a duck, Essex had slipped to 29 for four. And we had a fascinating finale ahead of us. The decisive innings in the end came from Bapara. He's not often mentioned as a test player these days, but the way he batted in this match and dealt with the conditions, which had altered as the game progressed, was remarkable, out of the very top draw, in fact. The total had moved on to 55, and the runs required were down to 78, when Essex lost their fifth man, Ryan Tenderscarter, bowled by a quicker delivery from Briggs for an important 18 runs. Indeed, every run was important. Papara reduced the target by six as he took on Dawson. But the bowler soon removed Smith, who'd made nine when he edged Dawson to Irvin, who did well at slip with the total on 76 for six with 57 more needed. And four runs later, Dawson and Irvin combined again to remove Phillips for one. And now Hampshire were favourites to win an incredible game of cricket. It was one which was matching the remarkable events in Liverpool on the previous day when Nottinghamshire scraped home by one wicket against Lancashire. Crucially, Papara, who'd come in at number three, was still there and he and Graham Napier edged their side closer to the winning line by adding 28 runs in six overs. But when Napier was held by Coles at short extra to give Dawson his fourth wicket to match Briggs' efforts, this thrilling encounter was in the balance once again. Papara now had to keep going for his side. Crucially, he took 10 runs off two balls at the end of Briggs's 15th over, including a flat six that brought the target down to 15. 
Panasar would have been relieved that he didn't have to come out as Harry Gurney had done in Liverpool. Instead, it was Mahmoud in his first championship game of the season who hit two fours off two successive deliveries from Dawson to have Essex stumbling over the line. They won by just two wickets after making 136 for eight, Papara batting through another 28 overs for his 48 runs after seeing out 79 overs for 79 in the first innings. He was the difference between the two teams in spite of Dawson's 4 for 58 and Briggs 4 for 61. Hampshire had to settle for four points, which now sees them slip 22 points behind leaders Worcestershire, who also have a game in hand. They are now only five points clear of third place Surrey. After claiming 21 points here, Essex are now only 18 points behind Hampshire with four games to go.